Hi everybody, it's Diane. Well, I am doing just something a little bit different. Um, this kind of goes along with the couple videos that I made talking about creating wallpaper for your devices. Um, and of course, my focus is on doing fun things with My Singing Monsters. Um, images that have been provided mostly by Matt um, on the Wikia uh, website is where I get all of my singing monster um, monsters that I use are from the Wikia um, site and I almost use exclusive, exclusively the images provided by Matt from Big Blue Bubble um, and uh, he has some beautiful high quality images that are there that we could take and use. Um, this is one I created um, using the Art Studio app and I just combined some of the monsters to look like they've just spray painted out eye and put everybody on the wall. <laughs> and Drumpler's pushing Wubbox on a cart so they can get up higher and do that painting. And then just kind of a crowd of monsters that gathered to watch the scene here. Looks like uh, Bellowfish is a little worked up about it. but. <laughs> Anyway, that's just one of the pictures that I created using um, Art Studio for iPad app. The images are very high quality, and I really like that uh, app. Um, I did use this picture as my wallpaper. I've got my screen kind of set up kind of high, so it's close up uh, to the camera, because I'm going into my Twitter account today. And um, that was one of my friends. Um, I, let's see here. I have a friend, Adam. Adam is one of my good YouTube friends that, um, followed me over to Twitter. As with many of my friends on uh, Twitter have followed me majority of them have followed me over from YouTube. Um, some of them have discovered me on Twitter um, through other Twitter friends, but the majority of my friends followed me over from YouTube, and Adam was one that I invited to come join us, and uh, we have a lot of fun, a lot of good discussions, but I've been creating a uh, homepage uh, Twitter art for a lot of my uh, Twitter friends, and they love it. Um, I try to do them personalized just for them. And so Adam asked me to create a video showing you guys some of the beautiful homepage art that's being created here at my Twitter channel. And so this is Adam, the socks, Adam um, underscore uh, W. Um, but so he's one of my followers on Twitter. So I'm just going to go through and show you some of my Twitter uh, homepage art. This is mine. Um, let's uh, let it focus here. I, I created this one with our new little um, Dragong uh, monster that we got on Thursday, and I'm currently using that as my uh, profile picture photo, if you will. Um, but normally it's a humbug that coordinates with my background here, but um, I just kind of put up Dragong for a little while just because he's a new monster and I wanted to put him up there. So I'm going to go into some of my followers and show you some of the channel art that I've created for some of my followers. Um, self-explanatory um, that uh, favorite monster here is a ghast and uh, I use some of the island images from the Halloween plant island from Halloween to create this image for him uh, him her um. here's another one that I created uh, sugar beets fan Sugar base, I'm sorry. 
I've got a few Sugarbush fans here. Kyle Schneider is a Sugarvox fan. Um, Kyle created a piece on YouTube that won the Check It Out contest when it first started out, and he played a really great piano piece. And so, of course, remembering that, I created a piece for him that included the uh, keyboard to remind me of the great piano work that he does. Um, Chris Williamson, another uh, friend who likes the series Twisted, so I twisted the My Singing Monsters logo, so it kind of went along with his, you know, liking of Twisted. Blabbit Lover, I used some of the blabbits from... <clears throat> Uh, some of the artwork that I had created at Easter time using um, pretty cute little baby blabbit here that I created using some of the artwork uh, that was provided to us from Big Blue Bubble. Um, I do get all my monster art, my pictures of my monsters. Some of them I... Um, take screenshots of my game and I'll actually just erase the background from around them. But most of the high quality images that I use I get from um, the Wikia website and Matt um, BBB um, I don't think it's underscore I think it's BBB space MJS um, that's Matt from Big Blue Bubble um, puts out some really fantastic um, artwork. Uh, great high quality images that we can use. Um, this one was kind of fun. I created Quarster coming up out of a volcano and you see Quarster here and here he's kind of still in the flames and it's a photographer taking pictures of Quarster rising up out of the volcano. That was kind of a fun one to create as well. Actually they're, they've all been fun. Um, this one I created the hula because this player really likes hula and bellowfish. So I created, uh, like this hula here has a double hula hoop. I changed the colors of the hula hoops. Um, and of course they're doing stunts with bellowfish and he's kind of enjoying himself. And this player, I created a new image because he didn't care for the vivid background, but he's changed it back. And I think perhaps, um, I think he created a second account. Let me see if I can find him here. There it is. He created a second account and using the two different pictures I see. Okay, I didn't even realize that he did that. So this is the one that he likes more than the other one. He didn't care for the vivid background, but um, liked the one with the more muted uh, tones behind it. So I recreated it using some slightly different coloring in the background. This one, um, this player's girlfriend uh, drew this piece for him on paper and pencil, just a rule, ruled sheet of paper. And I went in and I cleaned up the image, got rid of all the lines out of the paper, and then colored it, darkened in some of the pencil drawings and with black marker on my Art Studio app, and created this as his profile picture. And then she also drew a couple more sketches for him that I uh, just kind of brightened up the contrast uh, and toned it to, or painted it to match the background of his profile pic. But um, happens to be one of my favorite. I really love this picture that she drew, his profile pic. I really like that picture. Um... <clears throat> This one I created for Matthew, um, who really um, is dedicated to his family. He has three boys, 
And when he put the picture up, I'm not sure why. Maybe he did it on his phone, but he's... Um, <laughs> there are three little enterbrots over here, but here's the three little enterbrots here that I created. It's his three sons, my singing monsters. And uh, so I created this picture in tribute to his three sons and in tribute to a man who's dedicated to his family. I really um, am impressed by that. And this player, um, I created this image for him because he's a Minecraft fan and a My Singing Monsters fan. And so I did one gas that kind of looks like a Minecraft image. And then the other one that's um, the ghast. Now he just recently modified his profile pic that I made for him and turned the, 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 the orbs that are spinning around him, he turned it into some of the different eggs that he likes spinning around the ghast. And I think that's a pretty cool um, change that he did to the piece that I made for him. I really like that. This was a fun one that I made. Um, it's uh, got images of the nebulob um, finding their way to Earth over here in the corner. Um, and uh, kind of a funny way to travel through space and a couple navigators here with maps. Kind of a funny um, picture or story I was trying to tell here with his uh, friend code flashing through the sky I think this one turned out pretty neat. I like it. Um, another friend of mine who really likes the ghast. Um, he is a speed skater that fell and broke his hip the other day. Um, a week or two ago, maybe it's been. But um, pretty... Uh, fantastic um, player and uh, seems to be very good spirited and um, the break to his hip has not kept him down. He's still very active and we love to hear from him on the channel but this was kind of a cool fun um, ethereal type looking background that I created for his ghasts and of course I changed the colors a little bit of the ghasts here <clears throat> um, annoying Furcorn, he created his own profile picture, um, and I created the background for him. He's a Cincinnati Bengals fan, so he wanted a tiger background. Um, and then I just took some of the different Furcorn pictures that I had and created a grouping of uh, Furcorns. I think this is one of the first ones that I created for Tyler. Um, again, another picture that tells just a little bit of a story with Mamet showing off Tyler, promoting a poster with Tyler Ross's image on it. Um, we've got Rebro and the original Diamond Mind, Mine and uh, Riff playing here. So I think you're getting an idea of um, what fun we have, or what fun I have. I know that the players really appreciate when they get this art that I've created just for them. This I created um, just showing off the seasonal monsters auditioning for um, the best seasonal monster contest. <laughs> just kind of silly little fun stuff. Uh, Clayboy really likes Araculele. Um, so I've kind of got a spider webby look behind here. His photo turned out really neat. He likes the symbol poison, which has nothing to do with Araculele, but he likes it. And so I incorporated that into his 
profile picture because that's kind of the image we always knew that was him was poison when we saw Clayboy we saw the poison um, <clears throat> symbol up so I put Araculele in front of the poison symbol for him <clears throat> another nebulob story nebulob in space getting in, into their spaceship their big blue bubble <laughs> spaceship that's got the Canadian flag on it um, and then here in the corner Rebro's tagged along with them and he's got his own little space helmet on um, Noah really likes uh, the Yule so I created one for him the background is cold island but I've painted it green to go along with Yule's colors and his favorite color is green so I created this one for him with Yule's and the color green this was kind of a cool one where each one of the guests has their own different color X player um, really likes the ghast and again I made another kind of a spacey ethereally kind of image um, using ghast and changed up the coloring of the ghast and I think this one turned out really awesome as well actually I like them all um, this is a very special fan of mine who's created some artwork for me that I actually used as my profile picture um, uh, for a while but I do keep changing my photo often so it's not up currently but I do appreciate the kindness of this fan who uh, drew some artwork for me but um, um, very obvious likes the smoochel and uh, created this one for them <clears throat> oh and this is the one we already saw with the changed up picture this is a friend of mine uh, Johnny he creates his own beautiful beautiful um, artwork um, he's a self-taught he wants to be a graphic designer Johnny um, I did create his uh, profile picture just because currently he's without the internet and wanted a new picture so I created this one for him but he does beautiful pieces um, so I really love his work his background is one that he created for himself and I think it's beautiful um, this is where we started with Adam the socks um, obviously you can tell he loves the socks and again purple and blue were his favorite colors and I changed up actually purple and white are his favorite colors and I changed up the socks to be purple and white background and try to make it personal for him <clears throat> and Ethan likes the geode and again I played with coloring and um, orange being his favorite color I created this one for him <clears throat> sugarbush favorite here um, as you can see each one is totally different and unique one from another and um, we had fun doing them um, this is um, I didn't create this but I do like um, this piece that um, greasy lettuce so he did a GL <laughs> for his photo and I think that's creative and unique and I and I like it and um, I've got a couple more here that I've done Josiah um, really likes the gazillion <clears throat> and I created this one tweets lol you'll see him on YouTube <clears throat> Adam Oliver another uh, hula fan and that was the first image that I created with the hula with the double hula hoop and there's hula with the double hula hoop 
which I think was kind of fun. Fun idea to change her up a little bit. This was one that I created for uh, Logan Roy's YouTube, which he's brought over to um, Twitter. Um, I don't do YouTube art too much because with my iPad I can't seem to get as good a high quality image as I do on my computer and I don't get to my computer as much since I've been using the Art Studio app. So I kind of stick to just doing Twitter art for some of my friends here. <clears throat> but um, I can go into photos here. Let's see. Oops. Yeah, this is just a, I'll just do a quick run through of some of my, <coughs> this is some of my um, pictures that I've created. Um, just a little bit better, clearer uh, shot of some of these pictures. And, and I try and take a snapshot when I've created the art for them. I'll take a picture of it to put in my album here. <clears throat> background that I used for this nebula picture. <clears throat> On every one of my pictures that I create on Twitter, I try and stamp it with my little Diane Delsig humbug is somewhere in the photo. This was the twisted one. This was an artwork that Johnny did. Isn't it beautiful? I said I'd like to do a t-shirt <laughs> with this picture on it. I, I think it's a stunning, beautiful piece of My Singing Monster artwork. I really, really love this picture. I painted their toenails in this photo that I made for um, the amazing fur corn, but he never used it, so, oh well. But uh, that was kind of funny, painting their toenails. <laughs> So this is just a folder. <clears throat> this is Adam, um, the socks, um, and his purple and white, and we changed it up to the other um, with the um, socks on it. But, so this is just a little bit uh, closer look of some of the pieces that I've done. Looks like a demon gas, doesn't it? <laughs> And there's the picture of the my three sons and Mrs. Wobux. I mean Enterbrot <laughs> Wobux. Mrs. Enterbrot. Here's that picture that I originally started with for this picture. So that was quite a, a change from that picture to this picture. There it is, the comparison, side-by-side -side comparison of 
And here's some of the drawings that he did, or she did for him. Another um, photo that Johnny created that I took it, his photo and put a graduation cap on it because he just, congra congratulations to him um, for graduating uh, from high school just a few days ago. So that's Johnny just um, graduated. <clears throat> There's one of my backgrounds for my channel. Of course, Humbug is my favorite. So. Another one I created that I didn't really care for all that much, so that wasn't up very long. Another one I created for Johnny with his graduation cap. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, and I don't have Kyle's in here yet, but um, I'll get that in here. Kyle Schneider's, um, Schneider's um, photos aren't in my album yet, but I'll be putting them in as soon as I get back in there. So that's it for now. I just wanted to share that with you, and this is a super long video. I apologize, but uh, kind of fun. Um, one day soon, I will be doing, oh, within the next few weeks, not soon, but um, I'm going to be doing some more um, tutorial for the Art Studio app. That's this one right here. Um, showing you a little bit more on how to use it and do some of the things that I do here. But, uh, That's when I was creating Kyle's piece on the keyboard. So, um, but that's Art Studio app. But that's for now. I will talk to you guys again real soon. Bye now.